I was nine years old, I always had trouble waking up early to go to school. But on Sundays, I would be the first one up and on TV watching a, a formula in Brazil that is called Mini Formula. It's a series below the go-karts. And one day my dad was fortunate enough to, to win a, a, a prize in, in the lottery in Brazil. So I started racing and uh, it started getting serious. I started winning races and then went to go-kart. And uh, I can tell you, it's funny because sometimes you ask like a teenager, what do you want to be when you grow up? When I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be a race car driver. I was very fortunate to be Ayrton Senna's teammate in go-kart. His passion for the sport and uh, his uh, determination, he did whatever it took to be the best, be the number one. Just see the way that he exploded in the car when he won his first race. It was just amazing. You, you realize right there how much the guy wanted to be in that first Formula One race. Uh, I'll never forget that. As long as you do your job and you work hard at it, very hard at it, you can be as competitive as any other team here in the series. I never had so much fun racing as I'm having now in Grand Am. It, it's just amazing because every single race, any team can win. You know, anybody can be on pole. I tell a lot of people that ask me, how is it? I says, I'm, I'm very blessed. I'm blessed because I do what I love most, which is driving. And I'm blessed because I'm racing in Grand Am. It's like uh, you are in, in a safari full of lions with one little piece of meat. <laughs> and we are all lions trying to get to that meat first. We really battle out like we mean it. Our main goal is to be consistently in the top three this year. I think we can. We've got the ingredients uh, within the team. We, we've been working well and, uh, you know, the right equipment and uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to be battling for top three. The victory at uh, New Jersey, it was an extremely tough race where I had to hold off, uh, you know, pretty tough competition and uh, they were uh, big time gladiators behind me and I just uh, have, had to put my head down and just uh, you know, put the hammer down and just go as fast as I could, as if I was qualifying every single lap until the end of the race. And uh, to me, that was a big win. I have some video I can show you. I was, I exploded inside the car too. It's an indescribable feeling. It's a feeling of a relief, satisfaction, accomplishment, happiness. Uh, it is just like you're levitating. I have a couple of them. Uh, obviously, uh, Laguna Seca, just because of uh, you know where it is and how beautiful the place is. Laguna is the scenery, is the atmosphere. It is uh, you know the type of track, which is uh, 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 you know we've got ups and downs and you know long corners. I love Daytona. Daytona is one of my favorite tracks. Daytona is the sheer speed and uh, that heartbreak in a turn one, it's just awesome. And when you have fun, you do well what you do. I just uh, wish I can do, you know, what I'm doing, driving in, in a Grand Am series for many, many years to come. The thing I enjoy the most is spending uh, time with uh, my girls. I have uh, a wife, Claudia, and uh, two girls, Anna and Natalia. They follow dad, they follow me. They come to some of the races and they enjoy while they are, they are here. You know, they enjoy very much when, uh, when I do well and uh, you know, they, they see how hard I work. And uh, that's, that's the main thing that I want for them is to see how important it is for you to work uh, and, and to obtain what you, you know, what you want and, you know, to reach your goals. If one of them wanted to be a race car driver, I'll definitely support them, just like my dad did support me. We were uh, driving from Miami to Orlando. I had my wife and my girls sleeping and I just wanted to see how fast we could go. 
and uh, my, my wife woke up at around 150 mile an hour because she couldn't hear the radio anymore. <laughs>